typically what you do when you're creating a new website or a new web application is you start from scratch. But what you can also do is you can go to freecss.com and download one of many different templates that they have there. So you can see here the question, why not download 2,216 free website templates? All of the templates have been built using CSS, HTML, or XHTML, and they also have JavaScript in them as well. So you can see different tabs here for different categories. As an example, we just choose this first one here, which looks pretty good, Celestino. So you can see here a basic website um, design already. So a main part here and a menu bar, and you can see here images that you can click through to other parts of the website. So that looks like a basic site design. So we take that and we put it into a folder of our choosing. So here I've done that. I've downloaded it, and here it is. Now inside NetBeans, so let's say we're going to create a new application for an online library, let's say, online library site. We click Next, and you can see here that we can select from a template. You can see here, local archive file or a URL pointing to a remote archive file can be specified. So now we browse, and we go to that location, and there is a zip file. We click Next. And here you can see um, all the JavaScript files that are in that template that we have just selected. So here is detected what is available in that zip file in terms of JavaScript. Now we can add additional JavaScript files in there if you want to use them, additional JavaScript libraries of various kinds. But here you can see what is already there, which is a decent amount. You can see this jQuery in there, for example, and various other JavaScript libraries. So we say finish, and now you can see that that zip file is being unzipped. And now the, the zip file is unzipped and it's opened inside NetBeans. You can see there's a lot of images, there's HTML, there's various kinds of things. You can see here an index page, which is a starting point. Um, you can see also the CSS style sheets. You can see JavaScript, so you can see jQuery is in there. There's a lot of images, many images. So, pretty complex. Let's get started actually running this. So I've selected here um, the browser with the Chrome connector included. So run the application. Here it is. Um, we'll make it more like... So for a start, we can see this is what it would look like on a mobile phone, which isn't pretty, which isn't so bad. I mean, this is a pretty good design right away for um, for a mobile-based website. But if we were creating a desktop, this for for the desktop, this is what it would look like. So it's powerful and responsive, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And here you can see it. Um, uh, blogs at the bottom, images, and so on, and so on, and so on. Home, sliders, so basic, basic layout for um, for a website. So um, to start working on this, of course, we have no idea where anything is found. We can say here inspect a NetBeans mode. So I've done that, and now I can click on items, and then I can see them selected in NetBeans. So here it's for, I don't have two monitors, so I'm just going to say smartphone portrait to make it really small. Normally you would have two monitors if you're doing this kind of design work. Um, so we put this one here, and put that one there. So okay, now we can see them next to each other. Okay, so now where are the different items found within the application? Well, here we can see that. Also, we can open the CSS styles window. And you can see as we click on different items, we, well, we can see information directly in the browser about the size of the different elements in the DOM that we're seeing. We can also see that the CSS styles window updates. So what can we do with this? So for example, here, let's, want to, let's change this email text. So here we can see a label. And then we can go to the source, 
and here's the source and now I'm pressing control shift enter to make this big so here is that email text and I'm changing to something else uh, online address or something and I press save and see here that email changes immediately to online address or back to email email address and I press save I'm, I'm in the editor here in the IDE and you can see immediately the browser updates and now I press control shift enter again to get out of this edit mode you can also see that the that the CSS styles that are being applied here are visible in the CSS styles window for example the font size normally you'd have no idea where to find that font size completely impossible to know and so here you can see where it is defined um, so you can see if I click on font size that this is the style that is applied so I can jump from here into the source and so on and see where these things come from so we can see all the different style sheets that are applied and depending on what is selected we can see which of the style sheets are available so here here's something else so here's a tagline we can jump into the source, we can see the, the edit, we can see the CSS rules that are applied, and we can change them as well. So on the class level, the bootstrap CSS is used um, for ID, it comes from custom CSS. So this really gives us a nice and handy way of understanding the application that we, are, that we have inherited or that we are basing our new website on. There's also the navigator, which shows you the JavaScript and the CSS and the HTML all in the same window. So you can browse through this too. Inside one navigator window. So that's it, a complete environment for creating new websites based on existing templates.